I'm kind of embarrassed that I didn't think about this before, but since we're talking about breakfast cocktails, I really should be wearing pajamas during these videos. Live and learn. Yes, this is round two of breakfast cocktails, and this time we're going a bit further down the rabbit hole for the Brandy Milk Punch. And if you're thinking, seriously, Zach, Brandy Milk Punch is further down the rabbit hole? What about the Ramos Gin Fizz? Well, yes, I initially wanted to do the Ramos, but I want these drinks to be accessible under the circumstances. I don't want anyone hitting any brick walls because the Lebanese grocery store in their neighborhood is closed and they can't get orange flower water. Everybody can get brandy. Everybody can get dairy. Okay, the Brandy Milk Punch. This drink is a New Orleans brunch staple, and whenever I'm there, I drink as many as possible. This is how I make it. In a shaker tin, combine an ounce and a half of brandy, an ounce of simple syrup, a quarter teaspoon of quality vanilla extract, and three or four ounces of half and half. Doesn't have to be exact. Shake hard, strain over fresh ice, garnish with grated nutmeg, and you're done. Order one of these in the French Quarter and it'll likely be served in a snifter, but I don't have one. Besides, it's just as good on the rocks. Cheers. Very soft, easy on the palate. No wonder this thing's been around for over 400 years. I don't drink these often because the drink is kind of too good. In fact, I really only drink them when I'm in New Orleans. Now, since it's a protein, milk will temper the booze and smooth out the flavors in the same way that an egg white will in a whiskey sour. With that in mind, if you want to use two ounces, go ahead. Also, because I'm fancy, I used cognac, but don't feel the need to splurge. If all you have is Corbel, use Corbel. And speaking of booze, I used brandy because that's what's traditionally used in New Orleans. However, this drink is wonderful with bourbon. Can you think of another type of alcohol that would go great in this drink? But if you're thinking, can I make this with skim milk? No, no, you cannot. Full fat or bust. Actually, could you make it with almond? I wouldn't. If you liked it at like, consider subscribing if you haven't already. And if there's something you think I should try, let me know in the comments. Stay safe, all the advice professionals, and wrangle whatever ingredients you have to get to make this drink because it's fucking delicious.